here you go. <laughs> mm, tastes good. Here, tell me, did you like it? <laughs> Stop the PDA, you two. Do you know how that makes me feel? <laughs> Shut up. Just take your food and go, Chen. Wait, hang on. Let me take pictures. This fruit was cut by the great designer Zhou Fang herself. This has to go on social media for sure. You are always so over the top, aren't you? I hardly think so. You'll be winning international awards sooner or later. So I have to anticipate that by heaping praise on you more often than I ever did before. Stop it, I almost cut myself. <laughs> he praise on her, don't even bother. Why shouldn't I? You don't get to praise my sweetheart. Tell you what, if I hadn't proposed to her early, I wouldn't have won her over. We're not married yet. I can still go back on my word. Too late. No take backs. <laughs> okay. Oh, geez. Get a room already, you two. You're making us look bad, you know. What are you going to do about it? Your move. For us. Come on. There you go. Stop showing us up. <laughs> hey, I have something I want to say. Hmm? Well, Four Eyes and I are going on our honeymoon next month, but we're planning to skip on having a wedding ceremony. We'll just dive right in. Oh, wow. Sounds so, good. So, Four Eyes will need to take a long vacation. Do you think you'll have a problem with that? No, not at all. How long do you need? Great. One month? Just one month? It's too short. Half a year. Would that be enough for you? How about a year, then? How about five? Then you don't need to come back. <laughs> Fine, as long as you keep paying him. I'm not crazy enough. But we go way that. back. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey. Hey, Fung. When did you get back? When did you get <laughs> well, back? Why didn't you tell us? We could have picked Surprise. you up. Surprise! <laughs> I heard you were in a really bad mood, so I came back to comfort you. Who gave you that idea, huh? <laughs> no, we came back here because we were attending your wedding. That's more like it. <laughs> hey, boss. Everything's been set up. We're good to go. Go, we'll talk later. <laughs> let's go, yeah. Sure. Hey, let's come go, on, you guys. Come on. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Should you need 
Don't cozy up to her too oh, much. stop. Look at Don't her. Don't mind her. Okay. See? Come here. Grandma, this is my nephew, Shanti. He's Luo Luo's classmate. <laughs> hello, man. Oh, hello, young man. So you're Shanti, huh? Luo Luo mentions you often. Come, let's go inside. <laughs> Come, hurry up. Come on, this way. <laughs> Come right in. <laughs> it's so hard to peel these. Oh. Grandma, oh, I'm telling you. Your dear grandson is such a creep. He stood at the balcony and stared at Joe Fung's window every single day. <laughs> Stop making up stories. I never did that. Are you sure about that, bro? I saw it with my own eyes every single day. Don't believe him, Grandma. Don't listen to them, Grandma. <sighs> hey, Auntie. Yeah? Don't act so innocent. Then you do the same every day, too. Oh, shut up, kid. You hear that? They're both <laughs> creeps. It's oh, perfect. That? I'll feed you this raw corn. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hunter. But seriously, uh, what we said is true. Your auntie was just missing me, I'm guessing. That's right. But she was too shy to say it. Here, let me. I'll show you. It's just fine, give Grandma. It to me. I can Grandma, do it. it's all right. <laughs> if you ask me, you should let her do more work. You want to see something cool? Ew. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's icky. <laughs> So do your arms hurt? It's fine. This <laughs> chair is not very comfortable with two people in it, though. Hmm. We should get a more comfortable chair. You know, something that we can put here and sit on just to watch the stars. That'd mm. be great. I know an old craftsman who makes really nice chairs. I can ask him to make one for us. You know everybody. <laughs> hmm. We can put the chair out here after dinner and then lie on it and watch the stars. Or sunbathe, that'd be nice. Hmm. How can you sunbathe while watching the stars? I meant watch the stars at night and sunbathe in the oh. day. Hey, Song Ling. You have haute couture, dress shoes, and jewelry in your app, but have you ever thought about expanding your line further? You know, something that can make it even more appealing? That's not a bad idea. I think we can maybe add items like chairs and sofas, mm. even tea tables. The more common items. So we can attract more customers. I think you could create several categories in your app. Mm. For example, a lot of section exclusively for custom couture. Then have one for dress shoes and jewelry as well. And then offer advanced customization for other goods in another section. Hmm. We can also add an offline feature. So we can bring together same interest groups. Have them meet up and collaborate on stuff. Possibly mm. forge friendships among them. We can attract more interest. Not to mention more creatives as well. Actually, that way, we're not only designing stuff that clients would be invested in in such a profound manner. We'll be doing more. We'll be providing a great platform to help designers and craftsmen dedicate themselves to their art. And I think that's a beautiful thing to do, isn't it? It's gonna be impactful for everyone. That's right. Especially because nowadays, more and more people know exactly what they want to have. They won't just buy stuff from the big brands for the sake of showing off their buying power. Instead, they'd make purchases based on the lifestyle that they'd like to have. So advanced customization at its highest isn't just a fancy service. It's also a way to live life. Hmm. Did we just come up with a killer idea? Mm hmm Yeah? You are so clever. Mm hmm And so pretty, it's unfair. <laughs> Is it? Are you cold? Mm-hmm. A little bit, yeah. Chofan. Oh. <sighs> How'd you know I was here? Well, of course I knew. I'm your girlfriend. You know me well. I do. 
You see, every time you do something big, you go to this place. Hmm. Why did you decide to sell the patent to Mr. Su? Uh, didn't you ask me before why Su Ushan and I couldn't have a win-win situation? That made an impact. So I'm the reason? Because of you, because of Wan Feng, because I want to do something for the industry. You know, I started Wan Feng myself, and I don't want to see it fail. You work with Su Ushan as well. If he fails, you'd be affected, right? Joining forces with him, it could bring a lot of good to the industry. Hey, Song Ling, are you feeling tired? Do you think that what I did was a win for us too? I do. Then I'm fine. I'm not tired. <laughs> Chou Fang. Mm -hmm. When you're with me, do you still feel insecure? No, I don't. I feel safe when I'm with you. That's good. Do you want to know what I like the most about you? That I'm handsome? <laughs> yes, you're handsome, but it's not that. There are some things you don't have to promise me. But when you do make them, you always do it right. You used to tell me that I shouldn't have to worry, that you would protect me. And ever since that moment, and up until now, I've been feeling like a superwoman with super amazing powers. Because of you, I can focus on my dreams without any fear, without any worries. Isn't that too much? I'm telling the truth, really. It's because you are talented. You've made quick progress. You've done everything well. Sometimes I think that I have nothing to offer you. Right now, I'm facing a lot of problems. You might even say that I'm at a crossroads. Things might be good or a total failure. I have no clue. I'm not sure for how long I can protect you for. Why do you always want to give me something? You know you've given me enough. And I'm not here with you just because you can protect me or help me out. To be honest, these days, I've been thinking a lot too. Without our social status and our family, is there anything about us that is deserving of love? Those are some pretty deep thoughts. So what's your <laughs> conclusion? Okay, the conclusion I've come to is that without everything, you're still very cute. And I might still love you. Just might? <laughs> and you? Do you love me? Possibly. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> Seriously. I really believe that... I have already found my soulmate. Oh, really? Then why haven't you proposed yet? What if I decide to leave you? I'm not scared. I trust you. You shouldn't be so trusting. <sighs> Fine, I'll do the proposing. Huh? Stand straight. <sighs> Song Ling. <laughs> <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> Come on, answer me. But you shouldn't be doing this. Those are my lines, so please take them back. Boring. Zhou Fang. I... I used to think that my life sucked. I lost both my parents, and I was left to take care of my sister who liked trouble. I really had no life. But my career was going really well. Honestly, I felt like a machine working every day, without any emotions. And then I met you. I fell in love. I started... seeing life's meaning. 
Just knowing you and being together is clearly the best decision I've ever made. I have never been this happy. I know I'm not perfect. And there's a lot of things I don't know yet, but there's one thing I do know. I know that all I want is to be with you. <laughs> I've kept this for some time now. I wanted to put it on you, but I never knew what to say. So, Zhou Fang, Will you marry me? Dramatic. Auntie, 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 I'm sure you're all wondering why we came in here riding a motorcycle. It's a little unconventional, yes. But I met Zhou Fang while I was on one. So she and I saw this fitting. In the beginning, I found Zhou Fang to be insufferable and hard to deal with. She annoyed me to no end back then. Are you okay? Do you have a death wish? You're the one who wants to die. I mean, do you have any idea how fast you were going just now? Who on earth walks down the road dressed in something like that? Are you crazy or is this some scam? You're a man, can't you pick it up yourself? I think my arm is broken, okay? Help me out, I'll treat you to lunch. But later on, after I got to know her better, after everything we've been through, my perspective on her changed a lot. I started to see how adorable Zhou Fang is, and how persistent and driven she is. That was what ultimately drew me into her, to be honest. I knew she's the one I wanted to be with and love for the rest of my days. What's this? You'll catch a cold. Are you 
into me? Yes. I knew it. Say it again. I do have feelings for you. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with liking you? Look, Jofan. We have a long road ahead of us, and if we can't learn to trust each other, then how are we supposed to get along? Let's break up then. I never meant break up. That's not what well, I... Well, I meant what I said. It's all over the news. How can I trust you? Thank you... for taking care of me. Listen to me, Jofan. If I somehow make you cry, know that that's the last thing I ever want to do to you. Some people would tell you that you don't need a reason to love someone. <laughs> but I disagree. I think there are a lot of reasons to, but the most important one is wanting to be with that one special person for the rest of your life. Are you still mad at me? I can't stay mad when I look at you. Looks like being pretty has its perks. I want him to understand that there's someone who needs him. That I'll always have his back. I want to make him feel safe. I want him to feel secure. From this day on, you only need to protect your dreams. I'll protect you. Will you marry me? I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. Miss Fan, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. After you put this ring on me, we'll be bound forever. I won't run away. is great. Let's try it out when we come back, okay? Sure. Be careful out there. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes on the road. Don't worry. Mm. Have fun. All right. We're all set. Do you have everything? Luggage, toiletries, passports? How about your visas? Oh, don't worry about that, Mom. I'm careless, but Four Eyes isn't. He won't miss a thing. All right. I'm just worried because you're driving all the way to Europe. Please be careful on the road. Don't worry about us. I'll update you on the group chat. Mm. And you, play nice, don't come back on your own. <laughs> That's a promise. <sighs> don't miss me too much. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Okay, I'll see you in a few months. <clears throat> Enjoy your holiday as much as you can, understood? If he calls you, just ignore him. Hey, Ling. You heard that, didn't you? Boss's orders. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Song, I'll be away for a while. Take care of Zhou Fang in the meantime, please. Yes, I know. Don't worry. Now come here. <laughs> She'll be fine. We have to go. Be careful, guys. Thanks. We're off. Bye-bye. Get in the car. Let me know if he bullies you. I'll come after him. <laughs> sure. Oh, you'll beat me up? Damn yeah, right I will. Hey, stop it already, okay? <laughs> I want to go on a trip, too. To where? Zhou Zhuang. <laughs> hey, do you want to have a baby? What should we name him, if ever? 
Song Jo Ji. <laughs> Song Jo Er. Which do you think sounds Neither. better? They both sound terrible. You don't like them? Song Jo Yu Zi. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I have some good news for you. T got the offer. We just found out. Hang on, dear. What offer is that exactly? Be more specific, will you? You lost me. He got into his dream school. He'll be going to Stanford University. <gasps> really? <gasps> That What's that about? Let me hear. That's great news. But tell me, darling. Uh, uh, but what about, what's her name? Oh, Lon Wan, did she get an offer as well? Of course, Mom. Both of them are going to be admitted. Remember the art program she used to talk a lot about? That's what she got. Is that so? What did she wow. say? Tell me. Oh, don't come so close to me. Move here. Okay. So, you were saying? Jeez, Mom. Go deal with Dad first. I have to go now. I'm driving. Okay. Okay, drive safely, darling. <laughs> So you did hear something, but you pretended you did it. Drive safely, darling. <laughs> <laughs> the fulfillment of a goal also signals the start of a new one. It's a lifelong process. We move on to greater things, but with every new journey, we focus less and less on the destination. Instead, we take in the scenery along the way. Come. Careful. How? <laughs> <laughs> remember this place? Of course I do. You almost killed me here after all. That's all you remember? If you did kill me here, you'd have no wife, you know. Really? I wouldn't say that. Stop that! <laughs> You're ruining the moment for me, you jerk! <laughs> My gosh, that was uncalled for. <laughs> Time flies, doesn't it? Mm. It's already been a year. We really went through a lot, didn't we? So thank you. Thank you for what? Thank you for tolerating me. Thanks for becoming my husband. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew right away that you were special. In what way? You're insane. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, honestly, it's hard to describe it. I just fell for you. You fell for me the first time we met, and yet you still sued me anyway? Right. Yes, I did fall for you. And yes, love is love. But principles are principles, so there. Sweetie, I want to thank you too. For what exactly? Well, for freeing me from the uneventful existence that I lived. If I hadn't met you, I'd just be working until I died. And thank you, too, for giving me a loving family. And of course, thank you so much because you became my wife. Don't you feel like something's missing in our family? What are we missing? <sighs> what do you have in mind? I'm pregnant. Really? You're gonna be a dad soon. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Did yes, you just find I out? Did. Why didn't you tell me earlier? My tummy's not Let me that see. big yet. Where's my son? Have you thought of a name yet? What about Song Yozi? No, Song Yu Tsai. Song Yu Tsai. Everyone is the protagonist of his own story. In the right that's place ridiculous. and the right time, you'll meet that person that's destined for you. When you do find that someone, your journey will be a much happier one because you'll have someone to share it with. I hope that one day you find that special someone so you'll never be alone again.